I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I have become so obsessed with the Dollar Tree lately. And you know what I blame it on? I blame it on the fact that I watch other people's Dollar Tree hauls because I see all the cool stuff that they're getting that I would have totally overlooked if I hadn't heard them talk about it. So now I go to the Dollar Tree more often and when I do go, I look at every single item. I mean, I go through that building with a fine tooth comb. So that has really sent me into like a Dollar Tree shopping spree frenzy at least once a week. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what I got this week. Um, the first thing I got was this really, really cute elephant tote bag. I love the colors. I love the pattern. I think it's so on trend and just super, super adorable. And the reason why I bought this is because I live in California and they're going to start having the plastic bag laws. I'm not sure when the law is going to start and I'm not sure if the plastic bags are banned or if we're going to be charged for them. So I thought I would get into the habit now of using these when I go grocery shopping and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I kind of killed two birds with one stone. I'm going to look super cute with this bag and I'm going to be complying with the new law that's about to start. So the first thing I picked up because my boyfriend wanted it, it's this sparkling water, it's lime flavored, he loves stuff like this. It's called Vintage and it's by Colt Beverages Incorporated. I've never heard of it, I have no idea how they taste. So after he gives them a try, maybe I'll put these in one of my Dollar Tree review videos. The next item I got is actually dirty because I used it, so I just kind of hung this back over it so you can see. It is their splatter screen and I did use it when I was frying bacon the other day. And it did work just fine. It's from the Dollar Tree brand. To me, an item like this, um, it doesn't have to be fancy or super high quality. It just has to work. So for a dollar, it was perfect, and I do like this. All right, now let's get into my bag here. The first thing I got is this body poof. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong for a dollar, and mine's raggedy, so I needed a new one. The next two items I got were these oven mitts. I thought they were super adorable and they fit the theme of my kitchen perfectly. I have like a Mexican chili pepper type of theme so I have a lot of green and red and orange and yellow in my kitchen. So these are going to fit in perfectly and I thought they were super, super, super cute. And they're actually not made that bad. They're, they're thick enough. The stitching is good. I mean, these aren't bad quality for a dollar at all. Next, I got this scrub sponge that matches one of the oven mitts. Um, I really need to like scrub my walls and a bunch of other things around my house. So I wanted to pick this up. I actually had a bottle of floor cleaner in my hand as well, but I'm a dork. And do you think I bring a shopping cart into the Dollar Tree? No, I just walk in there with no cart, holding all the stuff in my arms. And I had set everything down because this bag was like in the back of the rack. I had to pull all the other bags off, grab this one, and put all the other bags back. So I guess when I turned around and picked up everything I got, I left the floor cleaner there. And I totally didn't notice until after I got home. So I have no floor cleaner. So I'll probably be going back to the Dollar Tree again soon. So next I picked up um, screen protectors for my boyfriend's iPhone 6. He just got a new one for work. That's his work phone. And I also picked up a cell phone case for my Samsung Galaxy S4. These are both distributed by the Dollar Tree. I have tried the screen protectors before. They are in my Dollar Tree review that I will link up here. Um, but I've never tried their cell phone cases. I got one for my boyfriend as well. His was just plain black. We ordered him a really heavy duty phone case online. I just wanted to have something to put on his phone in the meantime to protect it. So I picked up um, just a plain black one. But when I opened it up, I noticed that it was completely scratched up. So definitely look at these phone cases um, really closely before you buy it because this one, I didn't even notice. Here, let me get closer. I didn't even notice, but this packaging is all jacked up and it actually looks like somebody already opened this because I didn't do that. And my phone case is actually dirty around the edges and the little pattern right here is actually peeling at the corners. So it looks like somebody totally opened this, used it, shoved it back in the package, and exchanged it for something else. That's my guess. So you should definitely really, really pay close attention when you're picking up something like this to make sure that the quality is good. I will go back and exchange this for another item. Hopefully they have the same phone case, just not already open and messed up, um, because I thought this was really, really, really cute. And personally, I... Don't really drop my phone that much anymore, so I kind of gravitate towards buying more cases that are cheaper so I can keep swapping out my phone cases 
versus having versus having one expensive phone case and I have to use it for like 10 years because I paid so much money for it. So I'm totally fine with the cheapy phone cases. Next I picked up three packages of the Sassy and Chic Fashion Nails. I am wearing one on my hands already. Um, I heard Fab TV, I think her name is. She does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. She's really popular. I'm sure you guys know who she is. She always says she likes these and I've never tried them so I thought why not. They had some really super cute patterns. Um, and I did use these already. I have some good things to say about them and I have some bad things to say about them. But I want to wait a few more days before I give a full review. So I will be reviewing these on my next Dollar Tree review video. But let me show you the patterns I got up close. So the ones I'm wearing right now are ombre. They go from white to pink. I picked up these pink colored ones with polka dots on the tips. And I got some black and white striped ones. I just thought these were really cute. I'm probably going to wear these next. The only thing is that these were way too long for me, but they were super easy to clip and super easy to file down into the shape that I wanted. I probably won't be able to use these because by the time I clip them and file them down, all the cute polka dots will be gone. So my plan for these is I'm going to throw them into my very first like giveaway stash. Right now I have about 250 subscribers and I'm planning on doing a big giveaway when I reach 500. And my channel is definitely picking up some speed when it comes to subscribers and views. So I'm optimistic that this will be like in a month or so, maybe two months hopefully. So I'm going to continue to stash things away so I can do a big giveaway for you guys because I really appreciate you guys subscribing and watching and liking and commenting. That just makes me feel so awesome and so yeah that's gonna be my first item I stashed away for my giveaway next I picked up some of these electronic wipes there's 25 in here and it is made by the Dollar Tree um, I did try one of these and I've never used any other brand of electronic wipes so I can't tell you how they compare but what I can tell you is that my laptop was absolutely disgusting before I used it and sparkling clean after I used it. So I really like these and I'm glad that I bought them. The next item I picked up were these dry floor cleaners. There's 20 in here and they're by the Scrub but and it's by Scrub Buddies, which is the Dollar Tree brand. Um, I've never tried anything other than the Swiffer ones, but I don't use them on like a Swiffer stick. I just use them in my hand to dust because I like the fact that it's actually picking up the dust and taking it with you and you can throw it away. Um, plus, I really, really needed some more of these because my dog is shedding like crazy and there is little white hairs everywhere. So it will be awesome if these work because I would love to be able to buy these for a dollar and so just I'm crossing my fingers that they work. The next thing I picked up was this Scotch pop-up hand band tape dispenser. See, it actually has like a little band right here that you slip over your fingers and then it pops up one pre-measured piece of tape. So I thought this would be totally awesome to use around Christmas time. I end up wrapping a ton of presents and I'm a night owl so usually I'm wrapping presents at like 10 o'clock at night and then I'll run out of tape and I don't want to go to the store that late so I'll be sitting there cutting strips of packing tape to use on my presents. I don't know if anybody else has ever been there but I have so I'm actually going to stash this away until Christmas and hopefully um, I can find a place that actually sells these refills because I might stock up on a few of the refills as well because I think this is a great idea. And it's awesome that I got it for a dollar. Next up, I picked up some of these flossers. We just use them all the time and we're running out. So I picked up another bag. And my last item is this Blossom Blast Perfume. Um, I've heard a lot of YouTubers say they like this. And it's supposed to be a perfect dupe for whatever it's duping. I don't know because I'm not really that into perfumes. Um, but I figured if a lot of people are saying they like it, it's probably pretty good, so I decided to try it myself. And I actually have not smelled it, so let me see how it smells. There's the bottle. It smells okay, it just has like a light floral scent. Um, I'm the type of person who I can't tell if I like a perfume right away, so I have to wait like 10 minutes and then I'll smell it and then I'll know if I like it or not. 
I was just surprised that some of these perfumes actually smell pretty good. I thought they probably all stunk, so I'd never tried them before. I watched like YouTube Dollar Tree hauls. Definitely check out the Dollar Tree perfumes because they're not as bad as you might think. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. This is Monster. He is the culprit behind all the fur in my house and the reason why I had to buy these. But he's the best dog ever and the cutest pug I've ever seen, so I will deal with the fur. I will deal with it. Alright, that's it for my haul. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!